I saw this photo of Arya and I was so inspired to recreate it. It's one of Exxon's concept photos that was released a few weeks back. I'm gonna recreate it so let's get started. All of the products I've used here are more or less under 500 rupees. I have super sensitive skin and none of them broke me out which is so important to me. Quality over quantity anytime. In this photo Arya seems to have a matte I mean full matte base with bold eyebrows, dainty winged eyeliner and fruity lips. It's something that I noticed recently that it looks like she likes to rock a bold eyebrows clean base with fruity glossy lips. Use your regular moisturizer, I used my Bioderma cream paired up with Vaseline as lip balm. Unlike my last video, I came today with hydrated skin y'all, <laughs> sis definitely drank a lot of water. I'm not gonna use any primer and go straight into brows. I love the fact that Arya's makeup artist kept her brows just like that. I feel like she naturally has like bold eyebrows. Now I have this bomb ass eyebrow pencil from Etude House in the shade 01 Dark Brown. It's a deeper brown shade with a triangle shaped pencil. The formula is waxy and creamy at the same time. When you create hair like strokes, you draw with ease and your strokes get to stay for long hours. This is what I mean by creamy and waxy at the same time. This pencil is not a micro precision pencil. So this is for people who already have mediumish eyebrows. I really liked my eyebrows today for a long period of time. I completely gave up filling my eyebrows. I usually use the e.l.f. Clear and Brow Lash Mascara but I really liked how neat and clean it looks. My face looks put together. Color always creates a focal point. I feel like filling in my eyebrows brought that attention back to my eyes. I have dark circles and hyperpigmentation which I have to fix. Her base looks so flawless here and I'm gonna Correct my discoloration, for that I'm using my new favorite concealer palette from Inside Cosmetics. This shade looks peachy on camera but off camera in normal lighting, it exudes an orange hue than peachy pink. I found the perfect color correcting shade for my skin tone. I'm a Maybelline 330. This shade suits me. If you have heavy hyperpigmentation, then this vibrant orange would suit you. And if you have little to no pigmentation, this peachy pink might work for you. This product isn't even under 500. It's like under 250, I believe. This shade that I'm using has the right amount of pigment and actually feels nothing on my skin compared to my staple color corrector which is the Cryolan Derma color. Insight feels feathery on my skin. I mean it depends on how much product you layer and personally for me the amount of product I use it feels quite lightweight. No matter what anybody says, I have to set my color character. It is what it is, okay? I can't understand how people just use setting spray only as the last step of their makeup routine. Regardless of the weather, <laughs> I sweat a lot. I'm using my go-to setting spray from Mars Cosmetics to keep the color character in check. You are also like me, but you think that quality setting sprays are expensive. You have to try this. It has a dewy finish. You have to give this a try or else I'm definitely bullying you for not trying it out. Because Arya's base looks extremely matte, I'm gonna use the Blue Heaven Hyper Matte Foundation in the shade 401 Caramel. Unfortunately, this is the last shade and it is lighter to my skin tone. Completely head over heels for this foundation, okay? This foundation and its cousin, the Hydrating Skin Tint. Blue Heaven definitely nailed the product design and the packaging. MRP is 225 rupees and it feels very nice on the skin too. It looks amazing on camera and in their description, they have said that this formula is made to achieve quote unquote photo finish matte look. It also comes with additional SPF protection. I switch between a brush and a sponge for application. This beauty sponge is from Mars Cosmetics. Remember how I initially said that it absorbed a lot of product? Okay. I don't know why, but it doesn't absorb product anymore. <laughs> it's almost been like two months or so and it works like every other beauty sponge. It's so weird and I kind of want to know about the science behind this. Okay, because the shade was light to me, I used it on my neck as well. Really tried my best for my face and neck to match. 
I was kind of contemplating whether or not to use it on my ears as well but I felt like I would most definitely forget about it and my shirt would end up having foundation stains. If you know, you know that foundation stains are the absolute hardest to remove so I didn't want to do any of that clownery. I was hyper focused on my base. I wanted to have the best, the cleanest, the most perfect skin today. So I used this concealer color and tried to spot correct, conceal and highlight. It took some time. I went back and forth, played with uh, another concealer color from the same palette. Something I want to tell you is that no matter how much time you take for spot concealing, once you set it with powder, gotta remember that you're either using a brush or a sponge. So it will take a slight amount of product out of your skin. It's always like that for me. I try my best to get the full coverage look only for the succeeding product to take that layer off of my skin. I learned this technique from Pony Syndrome, Park Heyman. I'm a huge fan girl of Pony. I love Pony. But yeah, it's kind of annoying when I don't get the full, full coverage look. In this makeup look, I did take my concealer to the brim of my lash line. So it all looked uh, like one even skin. So even when you have visible dark circles and you take your concealer to the absolute brim of your lash line, it does look a bit artificial because naturally you have seen yourself in a certain way and with this much coverage, it does look different. I only wanted to give some definition to my jawline, so I used my regular contour stick. This is my favorite technique, okay? I use it whenever my face is bloated. Place the contour on the sides of your face and blend it out. It's like you're cutting off a part of your face, okay? Such a minute step and it makes such a huge difference. It complements round and square faces a lot. Didn't want to use any shimmer highlighter or anything like that. This is a full matte look. So I went back to the concealer palette and I took this lighter concealer color to highlight the center parts of my face. This concealer palette does crease instantly. So when you got a product like this that creases within seconds after application, you have to set it with setting spray and powder immediately. Today I'm using the Nykaa All Day Matte 12 Hour Oil Control Powder. If you like finely milled soft feathery powder, I bet you will love this. It also comes in a decent number of shades at a very affordable price range. The finish is full matte. My face reflects light because I have a light reflector on the table. So it's not the shine, but it's the reflected light. I was so proud of the base. <laughs> hard work pays off bitches. It looked so perfect and I felt pretty too. For the eyes, I couldn't exactly tell uh, what Arya had on her eyes. It looked like peachy pink eyeshadow topped with regular dainty eyeliner. I also felt like her inner corners and under eye bag or as they like to call it as agiosol was highlighted with some glitter. Couldn't really tell properly. Now this is what I did. Took this Revolution Drill of Soulful Eyeshadow Palette. This coral pink color has a velvety finish mixed with pint sized shimmer. Used this beige color to highlight my inner corners and placed it on the under eye bag, the, the fatty part, you know. I took this champagne shimmer color and placed it on the center of the eye bag parallel to my iris. So the shimmer shade was directly down under the eyeball. I loved the eye look. It was definitely not my style. The beige on the under eye bag and on the inner corner really made my eyes appear bigger. For the eyeliner, I used the magnetized liner from Faces Canada. Usually, I only line the outer part of my eyes and then I wing it out. Here, she definitely lined the entire eyes. I also did not want my eyeliner to go down or draw a straight eyeliner. It just doesn't suit my round square face shape. I heavily depend on on the lifted eyeliner look. For 
more mascara i used a very mediocre lengthening mascara this is from swiss beauty i didn't notice anything crazy about their lashes or uh, like nothing voluminous so i kept it really mediocre uh, nothing special about this mascara either I really enjoyed the wand, uh, very convenient for the lower lashes, but again, this is not as long lasting as the mask mascara. This is what I wish for, oh my god, I wish that the mask double treble mascara had this type of wand. Bro, that would have been so fabulous. I finished off the look with a lip and cheek tint. This is from Etude House. This is in the shade 01 Strawberry Aid. Looking through Arya's makeup, it felt like she likes fruity colors like corals, peaches, and pinks. Like, you know, youthful colors. This is a vibrant strawberry tint, but I wasn't really satisfied with the color match. Her lips looked more coral, so I tried to mix it with a Brick Beauty lip stain just playing with the color and trying to match it but i <laughs> completely failed okay it looks nothing like hers i have no clue what the color is so yeah i failed i gave up and i topped it with the elf clear lip gloss for the contacts i'm wearing ttdi circle brown lenses <laughs> truth be told ttdi lenses are pretty uncomfortable to wear uh, while this is what you are seeing this is all i was seeing my eyes were so cloudy kind of struggling but drip is a drip and we sacrifice for the drip i loved today's makeup definitely not my style of makeup but i'm glad i got to try something new blue heaven hyper matte foundation the inside concealer palette along with the nika compact powder is my new favorite base routine that is it for today next week we are going to try out a full face of a cosmetic brand that i've been using since i was 13 years old so please come back i'll see you next week bye guys